Today we're back at Brandon's house and he is going to be setting the world record for the largest collection of LEGO Star Wars interlocking plastic brick sets. This should be an amazing experience. Of course we were here last year to check out his amazing collection and this year he's literally setting the world record with his collection. This should be insane. What were you going to say about those comments last year? What what was that on a vlog when yeah. you were here? Every comment was about sun damage occurring within seven seconds of being shot in boxes. <laughs> but now it's still here, leaking this, in. This, it's still it's leaking called, in. This is called a blind. You can raise it or lower it. <laughs> it has that function. Yeah, but why would you want to raise it? So I can lower it. The most yellow box is this ATT. Oh, definitely. Oh yeah. I, I don't know if it'll show, show on camera. That is. It's one of those things that's hard to see when you're looking at eBay. Until right. it shows yeah. up and you put it next to another. Is it otherwise mint? All right, see. Otherwise, man, oh, it's just oh, not mint, crease. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> is that a crease or is that the? the these that? 08 clone boxes are bad because one, they do yellow, but also the for some reason the seals yellow very easily in this year. The size of the Twilight box is insane for an 800 piece set. I still can't believe it. It's absolutely massive. Did all the boxes like were they always bubbled like that? Um, some of them. No, it it's, it's called puffing out, which is what sometimes what happens through temperature change or when you stand them up and the Lego sinks to the bottom and pushes the cardboard out. Mm, like That's why these are actually so laying on their front because they're puffing out on them. And these three are the ones that are longer than any other Star Wars box. Uh, so last year, Brandon said this. What do you not have still? The original Cloud <laughs> City. And I'm waiting on that one because I think the hype is a little too high right now. So I want to know, now that you're setting the world record, if you finally picked up the ultimate LEGO Star Wars set, the Cloud City. I think there was four I, I needed last year. Right. I got all four, including an incredibly minty Cloud City, which I placed in a acrylic container. Right, and where is it? Um, <laughs> it's not here. I sold it. <laughs> and why did you sell it? Well, you know, some Lego sets, somebody comes along and offers you uh, five figures for a set, and I sold it. I took the money. So. Fake I'm, collector, I'm, dude. I'm I can't sense. believe it. I'm a <laughs> I have all this, though, as offering. <laughs> I just can't believe you would set the world record without, like, the, like, cherry on top set. You want to know why? Because that set sucks. I do not like that set. It is overrated. Dislike this. Wait, don't dislike this. Cloud City. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the best set. The best set ever is right here. The best set. If you if you disagree, you're wrong. This is better than Cloud City. How does it compare to the new gunship? I need a bit more. Uh, better. Ew, the new gunship is not good. Well, watch what you say. You're a whiner. If because you say it's bad. it needs these right here. This uh, is the problem with the new gunship. What is that? Ignore the fact that there was no floor in here and you couldn't put a figure in. That, that well, that's happen. not actually part of the. Gunship in the universe, but a cool play feature. That it's good, cute. but this set is fragile. Like, no, what's fragile is that ATAT. -AT. It's going. I'm selling in the yard sale. So I hate really? that thing. I can't move that thing. It's so fragile. The panels fall. Yeah, every it does second. fall. These things fall off all the time. The too. legs are the design. I see why they put it off so bad. To adjust those legs, you know, I'm right. They're yeah. so bad. It's very difficult. Yeah, I don't. Mm. It's a beautiful set, but it is. Yeah. My plan is to have inside, like, the camera, I'll go up on a step stool, I'll count, okay. have you two just, where the camera can generally see, yeah. there's two witnesses present, and then one of you can do the counting while I list the set number. What do you list the set number? I want to pull it out and, and go, set, blah, 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 right. and then the person goes, one, and then I pull the next one, set, blah, 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 two, three, and just get a rhythm like that yeah. going down. And then we're going to count the top row first, all the way across. We're gonna count the second row all the way across. Why didn't you just count it before we got here? Third row of pussies, because it has to be on camera. You have to count one, camera, I one, know, two. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> count the fourth row. Then we're, I'm gonna put these in a circle, and then we'll go each bookshelf. Bookshelf one, down. Bookshelf two, bookshelf three, four, five, six. And then we'll go downstairs and we'll do the magnets and all the polys and foils. The only thing that's not sealed in this room is, I realized I didn't buy one, is the mosaic, because I have four open. Uh, I completely wait, so space. This is four sealed two. sets, right? No, Not. this is just for the record. They don't have a. Oh, okay. I thought oh, it so was so just sealed. sealed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I could have counted the Millennium Falcon and the AT, AT but they're both here. So. How do we know they're in there? We're gonna. Have, oh, I'm gonna open them. So for the foils, for example, I'm going one by one to lay them out in happens to be chronological order because that makes the most sense. That way we can come right down here in the middle of filming and just continue the counting. Yeah. Seems, seems simple enough. 
Squad uh, jumper. I'm your spotter. ATST. Wait, <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> Probe droid. Best set of all time. Obi Wan Kenobi. What's, what's the thing it says? It was always like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, so this is his yard sale stuff. This is stuff he's going to sell that we get first base. Oh, seriously? All we, should, we should probably uh, get a peek before. So, what are you going to collect after all this? You're selling the entire. Orient yeah, Expedition yeah, line? That was I bought it from, from I bought it from Maddie actually. Oh wow. Um and I'm not sure I'm not sure if I'm solid. I put it there. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's halfway out the door. I'm more nostalgic <laughs> with prior to the blue box of that of the adventures line. That's okay. So I, I might just black them. series? Gotcha. Nothing. Exciting. That was pretty slim, yeah. I'll take a look. I got figures in yeah, the figures in there. Where's the blue box? Uh, what am I gonna buy? So I'm, I'm thinking about buying a bigger house. So I might sell a lot to free up some cash for that. Okay. Um, and then after, my favorite stuff is vintage stuff. And then I might also go a different route and displaying old stuff. But I wanted, I got rid of actually my glass display cases. It's paid for like moving and they're hard oh, to move man. and stuff. So he's already selling the new 332nd battle pack. There you go. One one figure. He's and scalping it. Actually, I put the price <laughs> too high. I need a little bit. Ten dollars. And it's still like five bucks. It's, it's like got, one. Oh, it's just a regular. I'll buy it from you. It's just extra because I only needed one of each unique. Mint. I love this one. Steel box. How much? Oh, I didn't even price it yet. Did I? No. Oh, it does have a little dent on the bottom rear. Oh, wow. I don't know if Michael just did that or not. Oh yeah. I did. But it's definitely. Oh, it's got two dents on the back. Look at that. Oh, he's oh. got the old Mandos. I know you like those. I'm man. Jealous. Oh yeah. Those used to be like two dollars a piece. The old Mandos. I think it was when I was buying like the UCS Falcon or something. I had like 44 of these on a base plate that I got from my brother <laughs> and I needed money to buy the Falcon or something. I think, yeah, it was like 2016 or 17. And I sold them all to Timmy for like 50 bucks for like a little more than a dollar a piece. No. It, they were so cheap back then. It was bad. It was really bad. The battle pack recently jumped up too. It's like 70. Oh yeah, it's not cheap dollar. anymore, but it was. What is that, Um, the one with the... The Arc Trooper. What is that battle pack going for? Like oh, 150 like, now? Yeah. Oh, I was on one eye. Yeah, yeah. I was on one eye yesterday. It's insane. Like, it's gonna reach 200 probably. It's the, it's the most. It's the. It's yeah. It's the most expensive battle. Pack I was on one eye. Yeah. Someone's like, "Can I buy a couple of them from you for 300 dollars?" I'm like, "That seems like too much money. Let me look up what they're worth. I feel like you're over offering." And I looked it up, and they were 150 a piece on eBay. And I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm not selling these." But Utapau is staying up there with it. Utapau just broke 100. And it's still it's almost like crazy. A, I don't understand. It's almost like the higher trooper, quality I got these. Yeah. I got four of those pack battle packs in 2020 for like 100 bucks maybe. I looked back at how much I spent the past year on just clones. <laughs> and then you realize it's easily 30,000. 30 What the <laughs> Oh, I had 500 figs. It's I have because 3, you're, 600 but you're collecting like shocks and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I have 30 shocks of like the old shocks. How do you feel like, about the new shocks? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, that's wrong. Animals. I'm still gonna end up with 60 of them, but like, eh. Are we upstairs? Start this thing? Do I? No. Okay, baby. Lunch break? <laughs> you lunch break? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, are you, we're unionizing. Oh, yeah. First, we have 6209. One. Then we have 6212. Two. 9526. 34. 752 18. 59. 75308. 147. We're on to the fourth row now. And we're going to start with 75314. 152. And finally, on this row, we have 66674. We're now on the bottom right. floor row, and we're going to go in uh, chronological set number order based on release. Same with the buff shelves. 7133, 191, 7140, 192, 75356, 292, 75361, 293. All right, solid. We have to spot check because they don't know if they got it right or not. So now I have to count 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, skip a few, 103, 31, 32. I'm not getting poisoned. 103. 100, Boom. 103, we did it right? That's what we needed. Let's go. We got W's right. in chat. <laughs> cool. All right, what do we have to? What was it, 270? 293 now. 293? We were at 194. We so we're like a third of the way there. We're going to have to go mobile for this one, yeah. Like pick up your phone. And yeah, yeah, I got you. I can't believe you have this brand new commission. I drove to Atlanta Brickyard to get that one. 
It, they said the original owner traded in it. And this was the original owner too. Local guy. Oh, I remember when you texted me that day. He bought it at like, Tyson's Lego store and he just had it in storage the whole time. Well, Alright, we're heading out to Mushrooms of Mellows. You got a problem with me? I do. What is it? Oh, you know what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll see you at the expo. We'll settle it there. Ooh, big reveal. reveal What's he got reveal. to sell? We got a, a puzzle, bro. A puzzle. You're gonna make bank on that. We got some ISSs. We got an old Y wing. We got oh, London man. Bridge. We have my uh, notebook. Freshman year uh, science. Oh man, that's value. Pretty good. Uh, ATST. Some Tauntauns. Uh, a bunch of stuff. Oh man. Hold on. No, that good stuff. Look at this. Here we go. A sale. Beautiful. Bro. Ahsoka. Ahsoka. But the new Ahsoka show is coming up. Dude. That's going to go up in value. That Green Goblin is worth a uh, pretty penny. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know what exactly, but you will do well on that. This, um, you got a bunch of the heads from the solo. Oh, yeah. Those were so from uh, Hardstrap. Ah, yeah, the good old days. Yeah, man. Some Lord of the Rings stuff. <gasps> oh, yeah, you want that? I have it. Uh, we, I messaged you about that. Now I'm thinking about Maybe it. you did, yeah. I have one. But. Yeah, I paid like $82 in 2017 or 18. Mine also has like a back thing, like an L-shaped thing, but you will be able to sell this. Um, I would I would start asking, you should clean it off, go to the bathroom and clean it off. I would start at two. 200? Probably, so? yeah, so you can end up at 150. You hear it. I think, from, I think from the appraiser that, himself. I think it's that cool. There's some vendors set up in here, some people aren't set up, but I'm gonna take a quick early look. We're at the Bricks on the Dollar booth, and I spotted my first buy of the convention. That is an absolute cop. It's going in the background of every video I make forever. There's some not battle packs in here. There's a Thanos mech in here. Yeah, get that out of here. <laughs> we don't care about it. Mechs are nightmares. Bottom, I'm buying some battle packs. They're warm. These are fresh. Yeah, they've been out of the hard. oven. Out of the oven. I think you did, yeah. Yeah, I'm 250 for 20. Yeah. It's a good deal. This is like 2010. So much better. So some Bionicle guys that like my channel just walked up and they're like, hey, we got some battle packs really cheap at like a store that was closing. And then they sold me all these battle packs. I just gave one to a kid that came up to me, but um, the rest I'm keeping a high giveaway and whatnot. And then are all about the charity. To the charity. So generous. <laughs> Legend. This is Evo Brickbuster Customs. He said he brought something cool. Hand painted? Hand painted. All of it. Oh, Oh, and it's got a note. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I always like to do the note. Little it's very nice. Thank you. A hand painted oh my custom goodness. Lego Jedi Bob. Bro. That's going right next to. The, someone gave me like a, a Bob Ross Deadpool. It's going right next to it. That's amazing. That is awesome. You can see, like, it's like 3D. Let me see the. Oh, yeah. All the robes, the robes. are cut out of electrical tape what? and glued to the figure. Wow. Yeah. Um, for people that don't know, hand painted customs get crazy fast. Yeah, they're intense. That's yeah, that is absurdly cool looking. Oh whoa, that's, that's sweet. sweet. Can oh, I get a picture? Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. So this is the two x four wall that I built. JB, what happened to your wall? That's a face. It's a bozo. My wall man. broke. Bozo. <laughs> My wall broke. Gary, let's see. Let's see the wall. I'm building it back up. It broke. I built Rebuild a the wall. A cannon. <laughs> what happened to your wall? He just destroyed. I didn't see it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it's taking some damage on the bottom. There's some stress marks. <laughs> uh, let's have a snowball fight. <laughs> oh my god. Oh <laughs> Man, just everyone together enjoying the moment. This generation. This generation. <laughs> we need the plan to avoid the Great Reset. You traveled all this way to meet Mr. Beast and eat his nuts? Yo, these nuts? 